because from alignment comes trust and comes the ability to build successes together, but as well make mistakes together. And from alignment comes honesty. If you think about our model, and I think any model that you look at that works, is if people don't buy things in the community, the woman entrepreneur is not going to be successful. If the woman entrepreneur is not successful, we're not going to be successful. If we're not successful, then people that we're buying solar lights from and glasses aren't going to be successful. If they're not successful, if we're not able to buy things, then our donors, our contributors, our supporters are not going to be successful in this work. All of our interests are totally aligned. We're sitting on the same side of the table. And one of the key parts in this is, is in learning. Right? If you talk about alignment creates trust and honesty and the ability to have open conversations, yeah. honestly, when we have models, we have ideas for how we're doing this work, but we're wrong so often. Yeah. We learn from the people that we work with. Yeah. And one of the reasons is certainly we're not from the same culture, right? but also just even as individuals, we bring all types of biases. Yeah, anybody who looks at behavioral economics and, uh, and neuroscience, there are all these things that are sort of irrational, the irra irrational things that we do okay, that, may be, that may make sense in our culture. We now see them as rational, right? Because we're all used to them, but in another culture, not. And you think about confirmation bias, um, which is you know, where we tend to find facts that tend to support beliefs that we already have. When we were looking at first starting, when I was working with the first two women to go out and get basic eye exams and sell glasses, I looked around and said, well, you know, people don't read very much and people don't have very much money. Continually looking for things that supported my view that I didn't necessarily think this was gonna work. And so when we started talking, I said, well, why don't you go out into the communities and sell the glasses, this is Margarita and Esperanza, and sell them for Three dollars. They cost about two dollars at the time, but I thought, well, three dollars at best. You can't sell them for more than three dollars. And they actually said, no, Gregorio, we can't sell them for three dollars. And I thought, ah, oh, this isn't going to be sustainable. They're going to say we should give them away. I said, no, we have to sell them for at least four dollars. And these are women who cared about their community and who wanted to make this work. Now, why? Do, why, do we, why are they saying we should sell them for more? Because if we sell them for three dollars, people will think they're cheap. If we sell them for $4, people will think they're inexpensive. Yeah. And one of the big things you learn as well in this whole process is just because people are poor doesn't mean they want poor quality. Yeah. So I had been had this confirmation bias going along, and they had taught me there's a new way to go about doing this. Were it not for them, we wouldn't have, be, we wouldn't have been successful. Yeah. And there are studies, I think, that show how people sell things for very low prices in developing countries, and nobody will buy them. Well, maybe it's because you're selling them for too little. Who would think that to get access to products and services, you actually have to charge a little bit more so that people will perceive it as something of quality? Yeah. If you think about as a, another point is with water. You know, there's this ambiguity aversion where we, we, we tend to not make choices that are more uncertain, that have more uncertainty within them. A few years ago, I, I saw these uh, water drops. Yeah, so water purification is a major thing that we're focused on. And most, uh, water purification devices are treated with uh, colloidal silver. Yeah. And so I came across these colloidal silver drops where basically a small bottle for four, $4 or so could treat 2,400 liters of water. Yeah. And so I saw this and thought, this is magic. This is amazing. Yeah, this is going to be a fantastic solution that we can scale up and help people have clean water for the first time. 